So to continue our talk on the tools of the role center, it makes sense to work from left to right. We've just covered the search function. So now let's uh, just have a quick talk about the notifications section. This at the moment doesn't do an awful lot. It's only really there for sort of the SaaS environment and it will do notifications on if there's sort of been an update that's available or anything like that. But that is at the moment all it shows. I expect over time new functionality will be added and sort of more notifications will become available and apparent with this function. But um, yeah, up until now, it's not used all that much. Um, so skipping again over to the right, let's have a look at settings. If I click on the cog, we can see there's a few options within here um, that we can cover. You've got personalize, my settings, company information, assisted setup, and advanced settings. Now, the personalized I will be covering in a later video. It's a whole section on its own and um, basically is there to um, change the view that you were looking at there and then. So um, as I said, we'll cover that and come back to it in a bit. Uh, the next section is my settings. So this is quite an important one. So I'm going to click on this one and show you and talk you through what the different options are. Um, in a previous video, I said about um, the role center that I was using here was the business manager role center. And it's from the my settings where I can change that role center. Um, it's perfectly fine. You can lock it down so then people can't swap and change what role center they're in. But obviously with the permissions and things that I've got with this demo environment, I can sort of do, um, do most things. So if I click on the assist edit here, the assist edit, when I say that is these three dots, I'll be saying it all throughout the system. Um, so this is just what they're called. It's the three dots is the assist edit. If I click on that, it gives me a list of all the different available roles that I can change into. And let's show you actually what it does. So if I change to a sales order processor and click OK, and then click OK to my settings, it's going to refresh this page and open it up as a sales order processor rather than the business manager. So you can see it's changed. It's added um, bits and pieces and removed them even. Um, and the whole point of that is that it, it tailors your, well, I've said this, the role center is your homepage to your business central system. So by changing the role, you're changing sort of what's at your fingertips as soon as you log in. So with this example, I've being set up as a sales order processor, you can see there's no mention anywhere of vendors of purchase documents or anything like that because as a sales order processor if that was my role I wouldn't need to see those now that's not to say that I can't get to them again depending on permissions I can still search and do vendor and find it straight here but it just means that when I log in to business central what I need to do my job is right there at my fingertips so that's how you change your role is by going into the settings, my settings, and changing it there. I'm not going to change it back. I'll leave it as it is for now. Um, the next field down is company. Now, at the minute, I'm in a demo one. It's called Cronus. Um, but it could be quite likely that your business has multiple different companies within it. And this is where you go to change between the two. So you click on the assist edit. Oh, you can see here, there's a few different... Uh, companies within this uh, business central system. But I'm going to stick in the Cronus one just for now. You can always tell which company you're in because when you're on the role center, on the top left-hand corner, you've got the company directly here. All right. Uh, next field down is the work date. Now, the work date would nearly always be, and again, because this is a demo database, it's not throwing exactly what you would normally see, but the work date is generally the system date on your computer. And 99% of the time, you would never need to change it. Um, but this just allows your users, it might be like the head of finance or something, to be able to change the work date just in case they need to post something into like a previous period or into a future period or something like that. It, there are certain scenarios where changing the work date is required. Um, but like I said, most of the time, don't even ever need to touch it. Um, further down, you've got the region and language. You can just set this up um, to be whichever is appropriate. And the time zone, 
And then finally, you've got notifications. Now, notifications is quite a useful section and um, probably not many people realize that it's even there or know what to do with it. But there are certain things that pop up within Business Central that you can, from here, toggle on and off. If I just click on it, you can kind of see what I mean. So these are all the different notifications that can happen throughout the system. And if I try and find, you've got, um, let's say this one here, customer has an open balance. This means that if you're like on a, a sales order or a sales invoice, and you start typing in um, lines to sell to them, like adding items to the order, and it brings the customer over their allowed um, sort of credit limit, you will then get a notification saying, this customer, um, by adding this item, it brings the customer over their credit limit. And if you wanted to, you can turn that on and off. So there's plenty of different notifications to look at here. It's always worth sort of just coming and seeing um, what you might want to turn on and off, what might be um, an issue for you while you're going through it. Okay, so that in essence is the uh, the my settings. Oh, let me close that. Like I said, we'll view, uh, we'll review the personalised later, and the other ones are useful to sort of just have a look at, but they're not integral to sort of navigating around the system. They're just useful little bits for you. So the um, my settings is definitely the most important section within here.